Maggie Blackwell, candidate for United. I have a BA in English from USC, along with two teaching credentials. I got my master's while teaching. I taught at Henry Clay in LA and then at Hermosa Beach Schools 22 years. I got my JD with honors at UWLA at night, was on law review, and joined a private criminal defense firm in LA. The firm was acquired by the county and we became the alternate public defenders. I worked in LA County Courts for 10 years. I came to the village as a golfing heaven. Indeed it is. I was active on the Women's Golf Club in the board for 10 years and president twice. I became interested in the governing boards in 2013 and began studying the governing documents for both United and GRF at that time. A few years later, I ran for United and became United Secretary and Chair of Landscape, Governing Documents and Communications, and was Breeze Editor for United. I am currently a GRF Director. I'm Secretary of the Roberts Rules of Order Study Club, and along with two other candidates, I know how to run orderly and productive meetings. United has had meeting problems for several years and could use some help. It is counterproductive to have shouting and arguments in meetings. Calmer meetings will help give all directors input, make good decisions, and complete mutual work in shorter time. Directors should show respect for each other and practice listening well. Three valuable officers and committee chairs are not running in this election because they are burnt out by the chaos on the board. Chaos is not a productive business atmosphere. Vote for cooperative directors who will work respectfully and effectively with all directors, boards, and staff. Not surprisingly, expenses in the budget increase yearly in United, as they do everywhere. Some members have financial problems. United has lowered buyer requirements a couple of times, allowing people with fewer assets to buy in. Some residents have very tight personal budget. The financial requirements were set to make sure every member could afford future assessment increases, but somehow over the years, these members have spent or lost their assets and so they strongly resist any assessment increases. They want to stay in the village, so they urge underfunding. There is no senior residential community in California where you can live without paying assessments, taxes, and fees. We must fund United to continue operating and maintaining our homes and property values. We cannot fail to provide the necessary funding for a successful United. Due to budget cuts, United has fewer landscape rotations and smaller crews than ever before. With infrequent trimming, bushes have become thin and tall instead of dense and well-shaped. Orange County is a semi-desert with higher temperatures and less rain yearly. We have removed many water-thirsty plants and replaced them with drought-tolerant plants which are hardy but maybe less attractive. As to adding recycled water to all United landscape, if this is even possible, it will take many years of digging everywhere and save too little money too late. Instead, we need increased funding for projects to replace more plants and reduce much more of our turf at a fast pace to save water. Two reserve studies have indicated that one or two more years of inadequate funding may force the board into requiring special assessments. United must avoid those, if at all possible, because they hurt members and could lower property values. I support the meticulous inspection of every department's budget yearly as we did for the first time this year. I support charging stations for electric vehicles in clubhouse parking lots. I support normal civilized meetings to get work done. I support cooperating with other boards. I would appreciate your vote. Thank you very much.
Hi, good afternoon. My name is Diane Casey and I am running for the board of United. I am on the board right now and just for a one-year position I was taking over for um, a member that had to take a leave of absence and so I have been you know very familiar with how the board works and um, you know the board meetings and the committee meetings. I moved into uh, United in 2004 um, so I've been here almost 17 years and I have been involved in uh, clubs and um, I also uh, participated in a, an advisory role in, in some of the boards, you know, um, the finance uh, for GRF, I was just in there as an advisor. Um, so I am very interested, I am a CPA, so I'm, I'm interested in being involved in the finance for United. Um, right now I've been on a uh, committee for maintenance and construction and that's very interesting. Uh, you know, I have a lot to learn about how um, United, the infrastructure is um, done and um, you know, we had a great member, uh, Carl Randazzo, who you know, makes it so easy to understand. And, and he has described the contracts and different things that need to be done. And, and so I'm hoping our new board and new committee members, you know, can offer that same kind of assistance, you know, that, uh, you know, we can help them as board members. And, uh, you know, and it's great to have advisors too. So, you know, I'm hoping that uh, more people get involved in uh, the committees to, especially if they have a background in those committees like maintenance and construction or landscaping, um, finance, you know, everybody brings something. You know, we have so many uh, gifted people that have had great careers in their life that can bring that to the board. And uh, I am a CPA, like I said, I've, I've been in business for 30 years and uh, I had a lot of uh, computer um, experience with systems, and so I'm on the uh, ITAC committee that's looking at a new computer system for United, and that's been very exciting. We've had some presentations from some very big software companies, and uh, you know I have enjoyed being involved in that, and um, I have really enjoyed meeting the board members and working with them and uh, you know I am also in the Roberts Rule Study Club so for four years I've been working you know or, or meeting and learning about Roberts Rules with Joan Milliman and she's a great person uh, so I have uh, really liked that experience and I'm getting more confident to, to lead a committee <laughs> which will be you know something that uh, I've, I've done in business, you know, you know, for clients. I, I've been on board, um, homeowners associations for my old uh, homeowners uh, or association. And I've also been on homeowner associations for my clients. And, uh, you know, so I have a lot of experience with uh, research and hierarchy of, of uh, rules, you know, to know how a condominium operates. And I'm hoping I get to be on the board. It'll be a lot of fun. So thank you for your help and vote for Diane Casey. <laughs> and, uh, and if you see me, just come up and talk to me. I hope you can tell me how you feel and what you need. And uh, I can put you in the right direction. Who can help you? Thank you. Who is Pat English? That's what I'd like to know. Uh, it's surprising how difficult this task was for me. Because uh, I am old enough that it, it's going to take a lot of space to put all these things. So I just decided to select a few of them. 
I'm a 10-year resident in Laguna Woods. I graduated from University of Hawaii at the age of 41. That's an old age. Because I had attended six different colleges and universities, I had three children to bring up. And on the Air Force basis where my husband was a member of the RCAF, I had little opportunity to gain education. In 1979, my husband, my oldest son, and myself sailed from Oxnard, California to Gila, Hawaii in our 41-foot Formosa catch. At that time, I was about 40 units short of a degree. During our time in Hawaii, I was able to complete a degree in business administration. During that time, I also worked for the CPA, a CPA firm. Since the Big Island of Hawaii had a section of Uni University of Hawaii. When I returned to California, I worked in a local CPA firm and was offered a position as head of the auditing department, even though I wasn't certified. I turned down this office since DCAA, DOD, were considering to hire me. That's DOD, that's the Department of Defense. In 89, DCAA hired me, and I stayed with them until 2003. I thought I had retired, but I ran for the United Board and became their president for about two years, and then their treasurer about four years. After that, I applied for the grand jury. Since law was one of my main interests, I was a grand juror from 2020 to 2021. A grand juror must serve for one year. Upon asking about United Mutual, some friends of mine mentioned how difficult it was to get directors to put my name on the list, and so here I am. My name is Pat English. I would like you to vote for me, please. I've got a lot of experience. I've got a lot of education. And um, since I spent three years in the former Soviet countries, uh, I can deal with almost anyone. Uh, my name is Mark Greenman, and I am running for the uh, United uh, Board of Directors. And uh, a little bit about me, uh, in my working career, I was a uh, lawyer. I practiced plaintiff's employment law, which meant that I represented uh, ex-employees who were illegally fired. Uh, I had a very su uh, highly successful career. Um, I had four appeals to the Eighth Circuit Court of Appeals, which is uh, the court one step below the U.S. Supreme Court. And um, four successful appeals was more than any of my peers. So I was a fighter, and I did not give up. If a judge told me I was wrong, and I didn't think so, uh, I, I pressed on. Um, and uh, I would like to talk about a few things that, that I've heard the most complaints about since I've been a resident here for almost uh, two years. And those are the empty buses driving all around the village and uh, the lack of people answering the phone and being on hold at resident services. Now, um, our buses, they run out of Clubhouse One and they do half hour routes and they pick up one or two people and we pay $2 million for this service. It seems to me that we could do a much better service by doing a, a, a ride share type thing where people call into a number and somebody actually comes and picks them up at their doorstep and then drops them off at their doorstep. No more walking to bus stops. And then let's see how many people actually use the buses. I don't want to see their ridership data. I want to have real people, volunteers, go on to the bus route and see what actually happens. How many people really get picked up and where are they going? A much better system can definitely come into play. Um, and then the second biggest complaint that I have heard is about calling into resident services. People either don't get, the phone doesn't, uh, the phone rings and rings and rings and nobody answers, or once you do, you get put on hold for 10, 15 minutes and nothing gets done. We're paying eight, nine hundred dollars a month to be living here, and we should have uh, prompt resident services. If that means we have to prioritize 
uh, where some uh, budgetary money goes in terms of uh, staffing, then it needs to be done. If a couple people need to be taken off of gardening so we have some money to put into resident services, I think that should be a very high priority. And uh, the big issue that is now uh, being talked about is the insurance issue. Now, it's my understanding that our, our insurance rates skyrocketed and United chose not to increase our rates and that resulted in the one lender we had pulling out. So the only people who can come in and buy are people with all cash offers. And that makes it very difficult for some people to sell and it probably lowers our property values. Now, I don't know what the answers are, uh, but I do think I know what the question is. It is, uh, the bylaws state that, as directors, we're responsible for keeping our property values at or above where they are. And so the question is, uh, is not having a lender, uh, that's going to decrease our property values. Uh, to what degree? I don't know. At the same time, if we were to increase our uh, HOA dues to cover the insurance, that will make our, our HOA dues go up significantly which will also decrease our property values. Now, what the, that, that, I think that is the question, and that's what needs to be debated. And like I said, I don't have the answer, but I do think that is the question that needs to be talked about. And um, finally, uh, there's one thing that I talked about in the Meet the Candidates show that I just wanted to clear up. I talked a, a, a little bit at length about uh, I had a, a, a bad alcohol problem and alcohol cost me a lot, including my, my profession. And uh, some people took that to mean that I was, I was disbarred from being an attorney, and that's not true. I was suspended, uh, but the good news is that I'm in the process of getting my license back, and I am super optimistic that that's going to happen, hopefully within uh, maybe five or six months. It looks like my time is up. But I do ask for your vote, and thank you so much. Hi, my name is Pearl Lee, and I have been a resident of Laguna Wood Village for the past three years. I still remember how excited I was when I first moved in here and my husband was even more excited than I. Laguna Wood Village was so beautiful with so many trees, only 10 minutes away from the ocean, and we had a great weather all year round. In my first year, I participated in many interesting activities, met wonderful neighbors. During the very difficult time of COVID-19, I was impressed by the way this village handled to take care of us. I'm so glad we're back to somewhat normal lifestyle so that we can resume our daily activities. Of course, wherever we go, we face problems. And I understand that we have our share of serious problems and some many, many problems at the United Mutual. Prior to my retirement in 2015, I have managed 100-bed assisted living facilities for elderly in Arizona. For 30 years, I had to deal with a tight budget to meet the requirements set by the state and also compete with large facilities that are owned by big corporations. I had to struggle to survive dealing with financial problems, resident services, employee problems, repairs and improvement of the facility that I had to, and I had to resolve problems on daily basis by working closely with my residents and with my staffs. After 30 long years of hard work, I finally retired and took a very long break. And now I'm ready to go back to serve my community I love. I'm ready to challenge the problems and by working together with other members of the board, I like to bring positive changes and positive spirits back to our community. I believe the board and the re residents must work hand in hand to protect and to improve our home that we are proud of. 
there's no doubt in my mind that Laguna Wood Village is still the best place that we can spend our retirement years. Last but not the least, I feel that the board members must exhibit good moral character with high ethical standard. We must be able to participate and conduct a meeting with respect and with civility. We as a group have one common goal, and that is to serve our com community. There's no room for personal interest, personal agenda, or any other political motivations. My decisions will be made based on facts, with honesty, and with integrity at all times. I'm ready to serve my community, and that is why I'm here today. I'm running for the board at United Mutual, and please vote for me. My name is Pearl Lee. Thank you. Hello, I'm Anthony Libertori, and I want to thank you for taking this time to listen to me. And uh, I'm a candidate for the United Board, as you know. And my, uh, my, my whole thing for the board is to, redu re to bring civility back to the board. Right now, the board is in what I call circular logic. They just go around and everybody says the same thing. And if you read Robert's Rules, and if you read Davis Sterling, or any other uh, publication that deals with conferences and committees, they stress the fact that you have to reach a consensus in order to get anything done. I don't see that happening in United, and I hope to bring that back to the board, consensus. And also, it, to me, we have the big elephant in the room for this coming year and years after is insurance. That's the elephant in the room. And if we don't pay attention to it, it can be really detrimental in the years to come. And there is something we can do. Now, I, I believe in uh, being uh, an optimist because I believe uh, the optimist is someone who sees opportunity and difficulty. A pessimist sees difficulty and opportunity. And so uh, that's my take. That's what I bring back to the uh, United Board. I was on it before. I headed up the waterfront at the Water Conservation Committee so that we could get united in in line with the demands of the El Toro Water District. I was also on the uh, ad hoc committee for uh, changing the lights to LED in the whole community. We did that, and under the urging of our directors, we came in four months ahead of time and a million dollars under budget. So there's consensus. This is the way the board should be working. So I hope that you would consider me uh, and vote for me uh, to be a candidate for United. And in parting, I'd like to say this. The positive thinker sees the invisible and feels the in intangible and achieves the impossible. Thank you for your time. My name is Lenny Ross, and I'm running for United Board. And um, my education is um, I graduated from University of Southern California with a bachelor's in science and business administration. And I graduated from Arizona State University with my master's in business administration, emphasis in finance and marketing. I've lived in the community for about six years. and. Um, I used to serve as in the HOA as United President and Treasurer. Um, when, when my career was developing and selling automotive industrial accessories such as entertainment systems and wheels 
to OEM automotive customers, where I became experienced and familiar with profit and loss statements and achieving operating budgets. A key responsibility of board members is to maximize the value of our Laguna Woods properties. Therefore, we must better control the escalating costs of the HOA monthly assessments. Why? As property values in cities outside Laguna Woods continue to increase by 9% per year, our values are stagnant or decreasing, costing our community billions of dollars in real estate appreciation. Look at the towers as to resale rates if you want to see tragic effect of out-of-control HOA fees. They currently hover around $2,500 per month. Sales prices continue to deteriorate well under $100,000 per unit. This is the direction we are heading for with our co-ops and condos unless we bring our budgets under better control. Most importantly, many of the residents of Laguna Woods live on fixed incomes and as HOA monthly assessments approach $1,000 per month could force some residents to make decisions on whether to pay for drugs, food, or HOA fees. Finally, as property insurance in California continues to increase due to the raging fires out of control in Western USA, we are, are, we are, adi are we adequately insured according to Freddie Mac and Fannie Mae and must better control property insurance or it could increase our HOA assessments by more than 10%. Based on my outline above, the number one reason I am running to be on the board is to use my experience as president and treasurer of United, along with my financial background, to better control HOA assessments. I wish to thank you very much, and this is Lenny Ross, and I'm running for the board. Thank you.